Dr. John Canal is the head of the U.S. Vitamin D Council. He states, if you're feeling sick, like you're going to catch a cold or flu, go home and take 50,000 IUs of D3 for three days in a row and watch the miracles happen. Wow. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, Roy Ones. I feel amazing. Why? I'm alive, baby. I'm alive. <laughs> so let's get into this topic of D3. First, let me state that D3 is not a vitamin. It's a vital steroid hormone, which influences over 200 human genes. I know that's amazing, right? And that's what current science knows about it. Who knows what else it does? Unfortunately, most Americans are deficient in D3, especially in the winter months, December, January, and February. You know, everybody knows why. You're covered up, your skin is covered up, you're not outside as much. You know, so that really does play a big factor. However, we're deficient mostly in D3 throughout the whole year. <laughs> it's not just throughout the winter. And that's very unfortunate. And I think that has a lot to do with, you know, not really being outside as much as we used to be, especially in the sun. And then all of the sunscreens and the lotions that we're putting on our skin that has all kind of chemicals in it. And a lot of these chemicals coat and block the sunlight from being able to be absorbed through the skin, which is how D3 is created. It is absorbed through the skin and your body creates it into D3. But all of that being said, that is not why I am doing this D3 experiment. That's right, I'm doing a D3 experiment. At least for 30 to 60 days, I'm trying to do a everyday D3 thing where I'm taking between 5,000 IUs to 20,000 IUs. I started this process probably two weeks ago. I started off with 5,000 IUs and now I'm up to 20,000 IUs a day, which I've been seeing a really big difference, especially in my skin, if you can tell. I got a nice little tan. Even though I haven't been on this channel for a while so you probably wouldn't be able to tell <laughs> but i got a nice little tan right now from the d3 that i've been taking also i feel a lot more energized and i sleep better now that's that's a reality because lately i before i started taking the d3 i noticed i didn't feel like i was sleeping as deeply and i'm aware of that kind of stuff right? because it, it affects my day so now I've been sleeping really, really deeply and I've been sleeping longer, which D3 is also uh, considered a bone and joint remodeler. So I'm attributing the sleeping to actually repairing some bones and some joints, which is very important to me. Yeah, I know I'm extremely active. I run, I go to the gym, I practice martial arts. I do all of these things, body build, you know, but the thing is, I want my joints and my bones to be extremely strong. That's some of the reasons, but there's others. There's like D3 promotes a healthy brain. Specifically, there is D3 receptors in each cell of the brain, which is amazing. So it mostly affects the memory and cognition which is something that I've been working on improving for quite some time. So to really get reminded that that's what it does, I'm on it. And I'm always willing to do a self experiment. You know, I did read tons of different double blind studies in PubMed. There's over 55,000 studies in PubMed on D3, the benefits of it. A lot of this stuff is known. so. That's why I really just decided to dive in. There's so many benefits, it's kind of hard to explain. You know, um, but it's also, like I said, a, a, a joint and hormone remodeler. So, you know, I need 
to have my hormones remodeled into the most optimum level possible. <laughs> and going into that hormone, another reason is that testosterone, D3, can be a testosterone increaser. Can you believe that? I've been looking for things to increase my testosterone for quite a while. Now, I'm still good right now, but I wanna be amazing in terms of testosterone level. With this being said, I'm actually going next week to go get a blood test done to test my testosterone levels, my D3 levels, and my whole blood work done. I'm gonna get a whole workup. Cause I said right now I'm gonna go all out to really strengthen my immune system and have tangible evidence and proof anecdotally for myself and for my doctor. Um, so I can see what's going on and where I'm going to be with this experiment of D3. Like I said, that is amazing. But there's one another reason is I was reading this book by Jeff T. Bowles, right? And he has a, a really, really, really strong opinion on D3. The name of the book, wait a minute, the name of the, I got the book here. The name is a little bit too long. So, the name of this book is, can y'all see this right here? Hopefully it's straight. The Miraculous Results of Extremely High Doses of the Sunshine Hormone Vitamin D3. My experiment with huge doses of D3 from 25,000 to 50,000 to 100,000 IUs a day over a one year period. That's pretty freaking amazing. And I'm gonna tell you something. This book is phenomenal. I went through it. It's my second time reading it. And every time I read it, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. What have I been doing? Why did I slip on this? Let me get back on it. Because one of the main things he talked about was how 4,000 IUs a day he was taking started to eliminate his cracking in his fingers and his ankles. He said that he has had chronic cracking of his joints for a long time. And now that resonated with me because I, my ankles have been cracking <laughs> as long as I can remember. I mean, seriously, as long as I can remember. And I just kind of accepted it because I said, I've been like this my whole life. None of my doctors told me anything to do. I told them they didn't state anything, any recommendations or anything. So I kind of just dealt with it. It doesn't hurt, it just cracks every once in a while. Actually, uh, you know, before I get warmed up doing some kind of physical activity, if I move it a couple of times certain way, I can hear it cracking. So to be able to have that tangible proof of that being eliminated would be phenomenal in itself. Along with the testosterone boost, which they say men who specifically have D3, low D3 levels generally tend to have low testosterone levels. So this is really, really important to me because I want to be able to maintain a high level of testosterone, a high level of strong bones and joints 50, 60 years from now. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I always tell my friends and my family, I want to be 90 running marathons and choking people out. You know what I mean? That's the kind of vision I have of myself. I don't see myself ever as frail and weak. And I think now with the science that we have available in the studies, especially the independent science, I'm really big on independent doctors' researches because something's not quite up to snuff with the major big boys. I just think they profit a little bit too much to be, you know, giving out all the data on natural things like a D3 supplement and how that can actually increase so much of your health. So I'm a little, I don't really, I look at it cause you have to, but I'm really a big proponent on these independent doctors because they give out so much great information. And I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, these independent doctors are coming up with this amazing information and the research is there and they're telling you great things to do. And yet these big multi-billion dollar institutions and they've been around for 50, 60, 70 years with billions if not trillions of research on this stuff and they don't know this. And one guy over there in the corner with his little computer and research with a thousand people can find this stuff out but they can't. 
So I'm a little skeptical with that. You know what I mean? I just, I, I just don't throw the whole baby out with the bath water. You know what I mean? I still look at the big research and, and analyze it and study it for myself because I feel like no one going to take care of you like yourself. So that's why y'all see me reading and analyzing and, and taking these supplements and really putting in the work to make sure that I'm strong and healthy. <laughs> Got a little rant there, but... <laughs> So let's talk about a little bit of what people are concerned about with D3. There can be a challenge with D3 toxicity. Like I stated, if you're using hundreds and hundreds of thousands of uh, IUs, <laughs> then it could be a challenge. Because what D3 does on those high levels is it pulls calcium from your bones and it goes into your bloodstream and your soft tissues, which can cause a whole host of challenges mainly kidney disease, heart attacks, extreme arthritis, things like that. So the remedy to that is vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is made from animal products and is also made from fermented uh, plant products and bacteria. K2 is especially great at pulling calcium from your blood and from your soft tissue and placing it back in your bones, pretty much fortifying your bones, which is amazing. I think about all the older people that have issues with bone problems and weakening and soft bones. It might be some kind of challenge with absorbing K2, which I said a lot, I think in Japan they have like studies where these people bones are like, a lot of people bones are really strong because they eat something uh, like a lot of fermented foods and um, uh, and that really does strengthen the bones. So for me, taking K2 is really, really a big plus. Matter of fact, let me show you the K2 that I'm taking. This is the K2 that I'm taking right here. 120 capsules. It is 100 micrograms per pill. Let me see if you can see that again. And it's pretty good. I don't have any problems with it. On here it says support healthy bones and cardiovascular health. Love a great cardiovascular system. <laughs> this is also something I was trying from Dr. McCola. It is a combination of D3 and K2. Of course, like I said, the K2 is MK7, which is from plants. It's also considered the strongest one. But the, the one from Dr. McCola, I really don't take it like that. I got it because I like the fact that everything was combined. You can get, just take it and get it over with. But I felt like the first time I took it, it did, I didn't really vibe with it too, tell, too tough. I felt a little weird, so I didn't really take it anymore. I just messed with the vitamin D that y'all have been seeing all the time from Global Healing Center. You know, well, this one is made from uh, the bacteria. Like I said, it's fermented bacteria, if I'm not mistaken. I've been using this thing for years. You're talking about years? I'm talking about years. I've been using it for years. Every time I felt like I was getting too pale. <laughs> well, sure, my family laughed at me. I was like, I'm getting too pale. <laughs> I would start taking that D3 and it always gave me a tan. So in the, the, the winter months, that's when I would take it. I would never take it every day though, like that. Um, I would take it, you know, once or twice a week just to kind of re-up to make sure I had some kind of D. And it would actually give me a tan all the time. So I'm doing this experiment and I'm gonna do it from 30 to 60 days, if my body feels really, really fantastic, and as I continually monitor my blood test and see where that's going and how I'm looking and consulting with my doctor as I'm going through it, if he tells me my blood is looking phenomenal and uh, I don't have any issues, I'm gonna continue it for a while. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going as long as Jeff T. Biles in the book for a year, um, because that can get kind of pricey too. <laughs> But I know I'm gonna do it for at least a minimum of 30 days. And like I said, if I feel great, I'm gonna continue. And I'll keep y'all posted on the results. But definitely get some D3 because a lot of doctors are stating that a lot of this 
Rona stuff is due to a large portion of the population being D3 deficient. So, you know, that's not, I wouldn't say that's a cure of it. Y'all yeah, know how that goes. I wouldn't say that, but I would say it's better to have it in your system than to not have it in your system, especially since it's a bone and joint remodeler and you take the K2, it starts to strengthen your bones even more, fortify them, so that you don't have to worry about falling down, breaking your hips and stuff like that, you know, as you get older. That's what I hear. I heard my grandmother falling. Everybody starts to get scared when they start to get older. And I don't want that issue. I want to feel powerful and strong at all times. <laughs> Wanted to share that with y'all. Check out the vitamin. You know, I'm going to link down below the, the link to Global Healing Center's D3. That's the one I really rock with. I like Dr. McCola too because he's pretty trustworthy. Y'all know how I get down. I only rock with companies that I have some faith in. I see the owners are living the life that they're talking about and they have some form of integrity and care about the well-being of their clients, not just putting together products to sell it because it's hot on the streets at that moment. <laughs> you know, that's a big deal for me. So that's why I rock with these particular companies and it works. So I'll link it below for y'all. Till next time, peace.